So, have you ever been in this spot? I mean, it is so frustrating. You delete terabytes of data from your ZFS pool, and you're just waiting for all that lovely free space to come rushing back. But nothing happens. Literally, not a single byte is freed. Today, we're going to crack open this exact mystery. The case of the missing space when your ZFS pool hits that dreaded 96% mark. And man, this quote from our source material for this explainer, it just hits the nail on the head. A special kind of nightmare. Because it really is, isn't it? It's that moment when your trusty, rock-solid ZFS system, the one you count on for data integrity, just starts acting in a way that, well, it seems to defy all logic. Yeah, and this really lays out the whole problem, right? On one hand, you did your part. You deleted terabytes of data. But on the other hand, ZFS is just sitting there telling you, nope, still 100% full. I mean, how is that even possible? Let's figure this out. Okay, so our story, our investigation, it centers on a real-world example from a Proxmox user. Picture this. They're running a ZFS pool on some mirrored hard drives for their Plux server, and suddenly they find themselves completely trapped in this exact situation. Their storage is pushed right to the absolute breaking edge. And this is where things get, well, just plain weird. The numbers don't add up. Look, Zpoll List says, hey, you've got 115 gigabytes free, which sounds great, right? But then you check ZFS list, or even the good old DF command, and they're both screaming zero bytes available and 100% usage. So which is it? Who's telling the truth here? This is the real mystery. All right, so like any good detective, the first thing you do is round up the usual suspects. We're gonna follow the exact diagnostic trail this user took and see why every single lead just went cold. Okay, suspect number one, and this is always the first place you look with ZFS, snapshots. I mean, they're an incredible feature, right? They preserve your data at a specific point in time, but that also means they will absolutely hold on to data blocks even after you think you've deleted the files. But here's the thing. The user runs the standard command to list all the snapshots and gets back nothing. Zilch. Nada. So our prime suspect has a rock-solid alibi. We've got to move on. All right, if it's not snapshots, what's next? Well, the next logical culprit is unlinked files. You've probably seen this on other systems, right? It's a classic Unix thing. You delete a file, but some program, some process is still holding it open in the background, which means the space never actually gets freed up. So that's what they checked. They ran LSOF to look for any of these zombie files on their media directory. And the result? Again, completely empty, totally clean. It's another dead end. Suspect number two is officially off the hook. So, with both of our main suspects cleared, we finally get to the big reveal. And the real culprit? It's been staring us in the face the whole time. It's the pool's utilization itself. See, this is where ZFS gets mean. 96% full isn't just a number. Our source material calls it DevCon 1 for your storage. We're in the danger zone. Now, to really get why this happens, we gotta talk about what makes ZFS tick, something called copy on write, or COW. Most file systems, when you change a file, they just overwrite the old data. ZFS never does that. Instead, it writes the changes to a totally new block, and then it just updates its map to point to the new location. It's an absolutely brilliant system for keeping your data safe. But, and there's always a but, right? There's a catch. When a copy-on-write system gets this packed, it starts having a really hard time finding those fresh new blocks to write to. Think of it like trying to park a giant truck in a parking lot that's almost full. You can only find tiny, single spots. This leads to severe fragmentation, and the whole system just starts to grind to a halt. So let's go back to that 115 gigabytes free that Zpool List was so happy about. What's the deal with that? Well, it turns out that number is kind of a lie. As you can see here, that free space isn't one big, beautiful, open area. It's a complete mess of tiny, unusable fragments, those single parking spots, plus some reserve space ZFS needs just to operate. ZFS can count up all those little pieces and say, hey, 115 gigs, but it can't actually use that space to write any new, reasonably sized files. And... Wow, someone in the source material just nailed it with this quote. Pushing ZFS over 95%, you're flirting with the abyss. You've literally gone off the map and into Here Be Dragon's territory. The normal rules just don't apply anymore. 
Okay, so you've fallen into the abyss. Now what? How do you claw your way back out? I'll be honest, it is not easy. The solutions are often, well, brutal is a pretty good word for them. All right, here's the game plan, starting with the least painful stuff first. You could try making a new data set with a smaller record size, say 128K, which might help it find smaller chunks of space and then try moving files over. Or you could try exporting and re-importing the whole pool, kind of like a hard reboot for ZFS that can sometimes clear things up. A bit more aggressive? You can force ZFS to give up any space it has reserved. Now listen, the most important thing here is to be aggressive. You're not trying to free up a few gigs. You need to get that usage way down, under 90%, to give the system breathing room. And if, if none of that works, well, that's when you have to go for the nuclear option. Back everything up, destroy the dataset, and just restore from scratch. Not fun. Look, all of those are pretty painful ways to fix a problem that you're already in deep. The real takeaway here isn't the cure, it's the prevention. There's one single golden rule that will help you avoid this entire nightmare from ever happening. And that rule is this number, 80%. This is it. This is the most important thing you need to know for a happy, healthy ZFS pool. Keep it under 80% full. And I'm serious, this is not a suggestion. It's basically a requirement for good health and performance. ZFS needs that empty space. It needs that breathing room to do its copy on write magic, to avoid that horrible fragmentation, and most importantly, to make sure that when you delete a file, you actually get your space back. That last 20%, it's not wasted space. It's the cost of doing business. It's crucial operational headroom. So I'm going to leave you with this one thought, just to make sure the lesson sticks. Imagine it. Your pool is at 96%. You just deleted a massive file. What happens next? Well, after everything we've talked about today, you know the terrifying answer. Absolutely nothing. <laughs>